Don't judge me. Don't be judgmental. Judge not lest ye be judged. I think that last one is probably the most well-known verse of the Bible, at least among many people that I've encountered. And the Bible does tell us, don't judge. But our scripture readings for this coming weekend's worship are going to tell us the soul that sins is the one who will die. When he was in the wrong, I confronted him to his face. Jesus himself is going to say, if a brother or sister sins against you, go and point out their fault. Huh? That sounds pretty judgmental, doesn't it? Well, certainly, pointing out the fault of a brother or sister can be very judgmental if you approach it with the attitude, I'm better than you, you're a terrible sinner, and well, me, I'm a pretty good person. But when you approach in love to lead that person back to Jesus, it's not judgmental, it's loving. We'll hear in God's word that the reason Paul confronted Peter to his face was he was not acting in line with the good news. He was giving people the impression Jesus isn't enough to get to heaven. What you do will get you to heaven. God wants us to point out the sins of others because God doesn't want people to stay in their sins. God wants people to repent of their sins and be saved. I know there's a wrong way to point out sin, but there's also a right way, a loving way, a gentle way, a kind way, a way that has as its goal to win people back to the loving arms of Jesus a way that gets people lined up with the good news of the gospel. Pointing people to Jesus, having people in line with the good news of Jesus, what could possibly be more loving than that?